So let's rank all the films that I rewatched for the month of June 2023. Let me tell you, this ranking is a whopper. Bad days, entertainment rankings and reviews. So greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Dual, better known to as the Big D. Back again with another ranking. This time it's going to be all the films I rewatched for the month of June 2023. And let me tell you this again, as I said, this is a whopper. It's a few more than last than last time. I rewatched 42 films. And what have you. Now. For this ring, I'm going to go extremely fast as I can on the first, let's see, a few films, in, the first set of films until I get to the top ten. Okay? So bear with me. So if you, now, in, if you're ready, let's get this ranking on. You know what I'm saying? Good. Sit back, relax, and here we go. Number 42 is Prom Night from 2008. This is the only film with Prom Night I have yet to review. The film's okay and why have you. I'll review this sometime. Number 41 is The Stepfather from 2009. This is a remake of the classic 80s film. We'll see where that winds up. This film's okay. It's not that great though, considering it was PG-13 remake like Prom Night remake was. Well, I saw a factory say Prom Night was a remake. I'll review this possibly next year. Number 40 is Shark Tale from 2004. Now, this is a DreamWorks film I hadn't seen in a long time. I thought I'd rewatch it since it was on Netflix. The film's okay. It's not one of my favorite DreamWorks films, though it does have a pretty good cast, even if it does have Will Smith, you know. Number 39 is Transformers Age of Extinction from 2014. Yeah, now this is where the franchise goes down way down on the downward spiral. I say this film's still pretty good in some ways, but not a whole lot, though. Check out my review of this if you haven't. Number 38 is Jurassic Park 3 from 2001. Now, this film, while it's short, it's still okay and why have you. Not quite my favorite of the franchise. Well, maybe just ahead of Jurassic World Dominion, though, in ways. But I'd have to rewatch that and rank all these films together. Number 37 is Mr. Deeds from 2020, 2002. This is an Am Sandler film I have yet to review. I haven't watched this in a long time. But I'm going to try to make up for lost time and review this film sometime down the road. It's still got a few fun moments. Number 36 is With Honors from 1994. I've only seen this maybe a couple times. But this film's fine all. I mean, Brandon Fraser's not too bad. Same thing goes for Joe Pesci. Sorry about that. The little sparkle thing in there. But anyway, this film's fine what have you. At least it does have a pretty good set of songs, including I'll Remember by Madonna. Number 35 is Little Falkers from 2010. Now, I was planning to review this along with Meet the Falkers, which um, that's still ahead, and Meet the Parents. I've already reviewed that. This film, I know it get, didn't get a lot of respect and what have you. It's still okay and what have you. It has a few funny moments. Number 34 is Me, Myself, and Irene from 2000. I haven't seen this film for some time. This is a very funny film with Jim Carrey. And, of course, I've already reviewed this film. This film's absolutely crazy. Number 33 is Jetsons the Movie from 1990. This is easily an underrated anime feature in my book. I do like it for obvious reasons, because since I've... Grew up watching the Jetsons and reruns. This movie is pretty good. I've already reviewed this film. Check out my review of it if you haven't already. Number 32 is The Longest Yard from 2005. This is a remake of the 1974 film, The Same Name, with Burt Reynolds. M. Sandler plays um, Reynolds' character, a Paul Crew. I plan to review this sometime. Same with the original as well. This film's good, but it's just missing some of that formula the original film had, though. Number 31 is Charlie's Angels Full Throttle from 2003. This is sort of a guilty pleasure. I did do a back-to-back -back review of this with 
It's PlayStation Longo. I may plan to re-review these those two later on. We'll see where the first one winds up. This film's fine, why it does have a few issues though, but still it's still got the same great gal cast though of the main three that is. Number 30 is Bait from 2000. Now, this is a guilty pleasure of mine. I love this movie. Jimmy Fox is pretty cool in it. I definitely gotta review this film. Number 29 is Stepfather 3 from 1992. This may not be my favorite of the series, but at least it does have a free, few pretty good kills in my view. I've already reviewed this film. It's not too bad, even though it's got a different person playing the title character. Number 28 is Transformers Dark of the Moon from 2011. I've already reviewed this film. This film isn't too bad in my view. I mean, it's a little better from the, than the last one. Check out my review if you haven't seen it yet. Number 27 is Austin Powers and Goldmember from 2002. I haven't seen the Austin Powers trilogy in a long time. We'll see where the other two wind up. This film is fun, why have you, but it does have a few mishaps in some ways. But overall, with the addition of Beyonce playing Foxy Cleopatra, it's not too bad. Number 26 is I Know What You Did Last Summer from 1997. I love this movie. This is a guilty pleasure. I love the cast and all that jazz. This was a pretty good slasher, even if it did fall in the footsteps of Spring. Number 25 is Meet the Falkers from 2004. It's a fun sequel and what have you. It does have a few myths and what have you. I was going to review that last month and failed to because I had to remove it for obvious reasons. Don't worry, I'll make up for lost time and review it sometime down the road. Number 24 is Stepfather 2 from 1989. Great sequel. Terry O'Quinn, once again, great as a stepfather. This is a pretty good sequel. Number 23 is Urban Legend from 1998. Another guilty pleasure. After watched revisiting this on Tubi again, I'm going to say I absolutely love this movie. This is a very good slasher. Another film that kind of fall in the footsteps of Scream. Number 22 is Indiana Jones in the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull from 2008. Well, this is my least favorite of the indie series. We'll see where the first three wind up, and you'll see the fifth one on my first Time Watches ranking, which will be for this month. I recently watched it, well, just last weekend. This one's okay, and why have you? It does have a few issues, but, well, it has some pretty good action. Number 21 is Rain It On from 2000. I love this movie. I haven't seen this for some time. I've seen the sequels. In the last year or so, but not this one. This film is so good. It's one of my favorite Kristen Dunn's films. Love it. Number 20 is Monsters University from 2013. A pretty good prequel to Monsters Incorporated. I do like it. Check out my review of it that I did not so long ago last month in June, if you haven't already. Number 19 is Short Circuit from 1986. Very fun movie. I love that robot number five. He's very funny and what have you. Again, definitely gotta review this one. Number 18 is Teeth from 2007. It's the second time I've seen this film. It's a pretty fun, well, it's fun and what have you, but it's really shocking and what have you. I know this is another film I definitely gotta review with. Number 17 is Meet the Parents from 2000. It's a fun movie and what have you. It has a lot of fun moments. Check my review of, check out my review, check out my review of this. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little tongue tied here. But, you know what I'm saying. Number 16 is Austin Powers and National Man Mystery from 1997. A fun movie. Mike Myers is absolutely funny. I will re, -re, -re do a re-review of this film sometime sooner. But it's fine, why have you? Number 15 is Charlie's Angels from 2000. Love this movie, great kick-ass chick fun and why have you? It's just so awesome. Number 14 is The Stepfather from 1987. Great movie. I watched this and 
them two sequels on Father's Day. It's the same with the Fokker Family Trilogy. Although I think I watched it before Father's Day. But this, I always watch every Father's Day. Just for certain reasons. Still a pretty good suspense horror flick. Number 13 is Twister from 1996. Now, I haven't seen a ton to rewatch this film for so long. I thought it was time to rewatch it. And, well, despite I didn't re review it for its anniversary, because it had been some time since I last saw it, I'm going to try and make up for lost time in reviews, maybe later on. Or possibly, if they're really going to give us that new sequel, they're talking about Twisters. Number 12 is, sorry, everyone. Sorry about that. Bumblebee from 2018. I love this movie. I don't care what anybody says. This is my favorite of the Transformers films. Despite it's a spin-off and everything, but hey, it's pretty cool and what have you. Number 11 is Austin Powers, The Spy of Shag Me from 1999. Great movie. This is my favorite of the Austin Powers films. I absolutely love it, especially with the addition of Heather Graham as Felicity Shagwell and the late great Vern Troyer as Mimi. I sure hope you've been keeping up with me so far. That was really quick. It only took 11, about 11 and a half minutes to do that. Cool. But I do apologize if I want to do this so quickly because I want to get this video done, okay? Because I'm going to be on a tight schedule and what have you. But anyway, now that you've seen the first 32 films on this ranking, now it's time to get to the top 10. If you're ready, let's keep this show a going. Coming in at number 10 is. Extraction from 2020. This Netflix film that stars Chris Hemsworth is pre action packed. I really did enjoy it the second time watch. I did review it and its sequel as well. We'll see where that winds up on my first time watch's ranking. But anyway, this film all. My review of this film also became the most viewed video on my channel for June. So that's good. Very good to know. Anyway, I think this film's pretty cool and action packed. You might want to check out the sequel as well. Now, coming in at number nine is. My main horror film of the year so far, Megan. I wasn't going to include this, but since I saw that. That I had 41 films running, so I just said to hell with it. But I decided not to make put Megan up so high again this time. Well, like last time. Anyway, I still love this movie. Now I've seen this film almost a dozen times since since I first watched on Peacock, but which is which happened to have dropped it for now. The film's actually now playing on Prime, and I'm happy to report that you can ha they actually have both versions of the film. Just in case if you haven't gotten the DVD and and or Blu-ray of it. I do have it on DVD, but I'm just letting y'all know that as a just in case. Anyway, I love this movie. Enough said about it. Next, coming in at number eight is... Jurassic World from 2015. Good movie. And it's pretty awesome and what have you. This was a good way to, you know put the feel back into the Jurassic Park World series. Well, however, this was the first Jurassic World film, though. Anyway, I thought the film was pretty good. And, and as I see, I probably would rank this behind Jurassic Park, which that's still ahead. It's my second favorite film of this franchise, but let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. But I am going to try and check out, out the others. Well, Maybe rewatch Jurassic World to me and maybe and then rank them later on, okay? But anyway, Jurassic World, it's pretty cool. Now coming in at number seven is Wally from 2008. Pretty good movie. At first I didn't know what to think of this, but after watching it, I did like it. And after revisiting the film on Disney Plus, I kinda like it a little more. I already did a review of this film not so long ago. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. It's a pretty fun little movie. Definitely very good. Next, coming in at number six is...
Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse from 2018. Great movie. Loved it. It was, and it was with sequel finally out. I, I had to try and find some way to revisit this film. And I'm going to say it's still as good as it was as I remembered. I absolutely loved it. If you haven't seen my re-review of the film, please feel free to check it out. I think Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse was pretty good. And I was surprised to see that it became the first Sony Pictures animation film to win an Academy Award for Best Anime Feature. Very impressive. Now I hope for the best the sequel does that as well. But uh, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves yet. Alright. And the top five... Believe it or not, it's going to be invaded by Spielberg films. Definitely. So coming in at number five is... Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade from 1989. Great movie. Harrison Ford still good as Indy. I like Sean Connery. May he rest in peace. Play this dad. It was just a lot of fun. And them going after the Holy Grail... Yeah, that was definitely a real good thrill ride. Definitely. Check my check out my review of that if you haven't already. Now coming in at number four is Ready Player One from 2018. Now I failed to give a review of this for its fifth anniversary earlier this year. But I'm going to be planning to make that up to you later this month, so look for a review of that. I'm going to say, after revisiting this film finally, I gotta say, it's a blast. This is a great Spielberg film. I love it. I'll tell you more about it when I review this film. It's pretty awesome. Now, coming in at number three is... Jurassic Park from 1993. Great movie. I hadn't seen this for some time, but I'm going to say I think this is probably the best of the series. It's what started off as a real fun thrill ride. Spielberg did a great job with it. If you have not seen my review of this film, then you need to check it out. You will definitely, definitely will be disappointed with it. Jurassic Park, it's pretty good. As I've said already. <laughs> but I like those dinosaurs and why have you though. Alright, and coming in at number two is... Raiders of the Lost Ark from 1981. The film that started off the Indiana Jones franchise. Great film, I love it. It's still as good as I can remember. I enjoyed the performances from Harrison Ford, Karen Allen. Everyone was great. I I almost forgot. I did review those the indie films a couple of years back. So if you haven't seen them already, please check them out. Anyway, Raiders of the Lost Ark is a great way to start off the franchise. Definitely. And it's still probably one of the greats that Spielberg and George Lucas clapped on. But if Raiders of the Lost Ark is second, what's number one? I think you may know it's a little something that had story come before the events of Raiders of the Lost Ark. My number one rewatch of June 2023 is... You guessed it. Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom from 1984. Yeah, don't... Please don't hate me for having this over Raiders. I like them both for... For obvious reasons, but Temple of Doom is easily an underrated gem and what have you. Considering it's a prequel to Raiders of the Lost Ark, I absolutely love it. I still remember the the storybook that I heard the longest since, unfortunately, my well, when I was a kid, I did have Raiders of the Lost Ark, but I think I it unfortunately broke. But anyway, I will say that I love Temple of Doom just as much as I love Raiders of the Lost Ark, but only for certain reasons. I mean, Harrison Ford's good as Indy. I like Short Round. He's a great character. Mola Ram is definitely a real freaky and devilish villain. And P.S., don't mind me, even though I like Marion a whole lot, I don't mind Willie, though. I mean, sure, she's whiny and all that jazz at times, but still, 
I like her for well, just for certain reasons though. But she doesn't take away my love, my like for Marion. Mm -mm, no sir, no ma'am either. Enough said. Temple of Doom, it was pretty fun. So that's it. What did you think of my ranking of my 2023 rewatches? What's your top three? You can give me your number one. You can give me your top three or your top five. You be the judge and do whatever you can. And please feel free to leave them for me in the comment section below. If you like the video, click the like button, subscribe, and be a part of the Big D Nation. Join me next time when I bring to you my June 2023 first time watches ranking. And we'll see what's on top of that. <laughs> okay. So, if you like this, consider checking out the top three films that I just talked about in this ranking. In the upper left-hand corner is my review of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. The upper right-hand corner is my review of Raiders of the Lost Ark. And the bottom left-hand corner is my review of Jurassic Park. And the bottom right-hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying... See ya. Bye.